you when you know you're going to get rear-ended. Here's a startling fact. Upwards of 3 million car crashes occur each year in the U.S. 93% of those are said to be due to driver error. Many crashes are low speed and result in no apparent injury, but a significant number of crashes cause serious injury and long-term consequences for the victims. Up to 40% of whiplash injuries become chronic, painful conditions. In an effort to reduce the number of whiplash injuries due to car crashes, I'm sharing information on how to avoid suffering a whiplash injury. You have very little control over someone crashing into you. And you have very little control over once you are hit over how badly you're going to be injured. So the premise of this article is to provide practical tips on how to minimize injuries when you're faced with the inevitable collision. Whiplash injuries result from shearing forces in the neck due to the vehicle being propelled forward while the head and neck stay momentarily stationary. The neck takes on an S-shaped deformation resulting in damage to the muscles, ligaments, discs, nerves, and joints. Injuries may occur in very low speed collisions of only two and a half miles per hour. By the time you're conscious of the impact, your neck is already damaged. In a previous lesson, you learned the one thing to do to prevent whiplash is to adjust your head restraint properly. This lesson will address a few of the many factors researchers have discovered aggravate or intensify whiplash injuries. These factors relate to what you can do to prevent or minimize an injury when faced with a certain collision. Factor number one is awareness. Occupants who have no prior knowledge to a crash are 15 times more likely to suffer an injury. With this in mind, it makes sense to avoid an injury. You need to be aware of your surroundings and watch your rear view mirror when stopping at lights or in stop and go traffic on the freeway. Be aware of tire squeals, sounds of collisions behind you. If you see a collision coming, you will know what to do with the next tip. Factor number two, bracing. According to researcher Tiesel, injury is greater when the impact is unexpected and the victim is unable to brace. Anyone who watched Star Trek or old World War II submarine movies knows this. When faced with a crash, go to battle stations. The command, brace, 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 should come to mind. The second you notice another vehicle may strike you, Brace for the crash by leaning your head against the head restraint and your body back against the seat. If you're the driver, put both hands on the steering wheel and stretch your arms out to push yourself back into the seat. Firmly plant your foot on the brake pedal and the other foot on the floor. When you're the passenger, stick both feet out against the floor and push down hard while forcing your back into the back of your seat. By bracing like this, your entire body becomes rigid and is essentially part of the car. Bracing like this will prevent injuries in just about any low speed collision and will minimize damage in higher speed collisions. If you have passengers, command everyone to lean back, hold on. Factor number three, body position. Injuries are magnified by your head, body, or the vehicle itself being turned at an angle. For maximum protection, you want both sides of your muscles and ligaments to bear the load of a collision. If your head is turned, only one side is working and you suffer greater damage. So, when the collision is imminent and you're bracing, look straight ahead. Do not look into the rearview mirror. Head tilt up, down, or to the side will make neck damage even worse. Look straight ahead and brace for the collision. When stopping at an intersection to make a left turn or in the right lane to make a right turn, keep your car headed straight ahead until you're ready to turn and move through the intersection. If you cheat and angle your car while waiting in the intersection, you're opening yourself up to greater injury by being turned at impact. Worse, in the case of making a left turn, if your wheels are turned and you unexpectedly get hit from behind, your vehicle is to go in the direction that the wheels are pointed at. Namely, you're going to be propelled into oncoming traffic. Keep the wheels straight until it's time to go. Factor number four, expect a second impact. 
Once the, the initial collision occurs and you're properly braced, you need to ride out the collision, keeping your foot hard on the brakes until you come to a complete stop. But you're not out of the woods yet. Be prepared to hit the vehicle in front of you. Keep bracing. If you miss the vehicle in front, don't let up yet. Keep bracing for several more seconds until you are absolutely sure there are not going to be more collisions behind you. This is especially important on freeways where there tends to be multiple car collisions. Let your guard down too soon and even though you avoided injuries from the first impact, a second one may hit the vehicle that hit you and bang, you're unprepared and injured. Millions of collisions occur every year, leaving thousands to suffer long-term pain and disability. Most of the time it's out of your control whether or not you get hit, but you can take steps to prevent or minimize injuries. Learn these tips and teach them to your family and friends so they too will avoid becoming a crash statistic.